Thomas. May I come in? Well, actually, I thought we kind of agreed that, you know, you were going to give us some space because Mom. of everything that was going on with the Mom. Jack and Sam are asleep. I'll give you guys some breakfast. No, but, but sweetheart, you don't have to. It's going to... Actually, I was on my way to go see James anyway. You two have a lot to talk about. I just... Hi. She's right, you know. She always is. You have a lot to talk about. But if you want me to leave, I will. No, come on, man. It would be nice to talk to someone who's not looking for answers, because I certainly don't have any, and Star and Dorian don't want to know how I feel about Todd. Well, I'm afraid I'm looking for an answer, too, Blair. But it's not about him. Well, what about them? Us. Serious? I can't even think straight, much less try to figure out how I feel about you. Come on. What? Is it really that difficult? You said you weren't going to pursue things with me while there's still questions about Todd. Well, now we have answers. Well, some kind of an answer. You saw the DNA test, right? Yeah. And they're both identical, and I'm not buying that any more than you are, so why don't we just wait till the new DNA test come back in? What if they say the same thing? You're still going to have questions. Of course I am, because we're talking about the father of my children. And while you're trying to figure out who that man is, where does that leave us? get into this now okay let's just wait until the dna tests come back okay blair why does that test even matter uh, huh? why are you letting either todd dictate your relationship with me eight years ago before todd showed up with a new face you weren't even together were you no and the todd we all know now is married to my sister you're not too broken up about that are you of course not i know he's the father of your children and i don't take that lightly but Blair, what does it matter who is and who isn't Todd Manning? You're over both of them, aren't you? Of course I am. Good. Good. I just wanted to make sure. I can't, I can't do this. I. Why not? I just, I just feel like it's going too fast. Oh, Blair. You know, it wasn't that long ago we were trying to spend the night together. Yeah, I know. I remember. So what's stopping you? Hmm? I've told you everything you want to know about my life. What's it going to take to make you trust me? I don't trust you. How can I trust a man whose job is to murder my ex-husband? Huh? I told you I was lied to. <laughs> I thought Todd was an enemy of the state. I thought you understood that. I did. Really? Mm -hmm. Then why is it still coming up? Hmm? Maybe this has nothing to do with my past or what I did. Maybe it has everything to do with the guy with the scar on his face. Don't you put this off on anybody else because this is all about you, Tomas, and how you have never, ever been honest with me. Mm -hmm. So this has nothing to do with either of those two men? No! And even if one of them were lying to me, you're the biggest fraud of all. You're trying to pass yourself off as some kind of bohemian artist. I am an artist. You're an assassin for the CIA. Oh, I was just supposed to start off with that. I was trying to protect you. Don't protect me, okay? I don't need it. All my life, people have told me lies all in the name of protecting me. I don't want that kind of protection. I want the truth. I have told you every truth I know to tell. Except maybe the one that matters. <sighs> Damn it, I think I'm falling in love with you. I don't even know what to say to that. You don't have to say anything. I know I have a long way to go before you'll trust me. But I'm not giving up on you, Blair. You want to know things about your ex? I'll find them out. I will do whatever it takes to make you forget me. And then I'll make you forget everything there is to know about both those guys calling themselves Todd Manning.